It's a trip to National League South opposition for Dolage Hamlet tonight. And they take on Welling United at Parkview Road. Depressingly, the scene of their last win of last season back on January the 14th. A win that moved them eight points clear of the relegation zone at the halfway stage of the season. And few would have predicted what would happen in the coming months following that 4-2 win here back in the winter. We come into this game now a league apart from our hosts. There's Papadopoulos again. Out to the far side it comes. There's a test here for Dulles' uh, neutralist defender. And on the outside and he sends it across. And it's going to be first corner that. No, it's uh, kept in play. Dulles haven't cleared the danger though. I'm trying to put the challenge on Papadopoulos. It's gone to the left again. In comes the cross into a dangerous area. And Will Woodward's arriving and it's uh, volleyed over by the former Dulwich man. The road end of the ground. So high ball. There's a lot of height in there. It's off the post and into the arms of the goalkeeper. I think it was Jerome Binham Williams with the header. Rolled wide by Anthony Papadopoulos. To the trialist B. The left back Papadopoulos again trying to drive into the penalty area and he gets the left side. Now pulls it across and it's a wasteful uh, chance in the end. It was into a good area. Trialist C wrapped his foot around it but it, the ball hit his uh, standing leg. This is training last night. Hakan Hayreton saying he wants 11 captains on the pitch at any time. There's not just one club captain. It's 11 captains. Everyone needs to pull each other. Oh, if they're doing things wrong. Here comes the number 17 again, into Scott. Crossfield ball, Binham Williams joining the attack from left centre back. Nice control from the big man. Ming, two against two here. Look, Busso trying to put the challenge as Ming crosses. It's a good ball in and then arriving at the far post. Was the Dulwich number 17 and he couldn't quite steer it home. Towards the 20's got it all, 17's moved away. He's on the edge of the box. Struck through the wall. It's a great save by the goalkeeper. Dive into his right. Wouldn't have seen it till late. Papadopoulos. Into the centre circle he comes. And then gets past Allen. He's got support on the far side from the trialist B. The winning left back, number three. Taking on the Dulles 17. Support from uh, his teammate. Trialist B. Just slipped as he went into the area. Dulles haven't cleared effectively though. It's white. About 15 yards out. Can you dig out a shot? Yes, you can. And it's crept into the bottom corner. Lewis White has given Welling United the lead here. The former Dulwich man managed to find a little bit of space and squeeze the shot inside the near post to give Welling United a 1-0 lead here. And you've got to say, in the terms of chances, They've uh, had the better of them so far. Hopefully lifting the, uh, the championship title, that'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Bouncing back against uh, our former captain and co. Here's Ming. Lovely run from Sanchez Ming, and he plays out to the far side. Here's the 17, getting into the area, taking on the three, shooting into the far corner, not quite, just wide. Towards the far corner it went, and it's just wide of the far post. Good run. I think it's six changes made by... Welling, I'm going to confirm that in a moment. Look, Busso is definitely still on. On the way, we're still on. Vaughan and uh, Papadopoulos are still on. There's one more player, I think, I've missed off there. It's uh, helped on the line by the 17 for Dulwich. Had a good chance to equalise in that first half. He's got the ball back from the 20. Gets the edge of the box and shoots. It's a good effort and it's a well-made uh, save by the substitute goalkeeper for Welling United. Tips it away for the corner. And sure, again, Welling from the restart. We're almost... Uh, Give the ball away again. Sorry, you were Welling yet yeah, in their penalty area. Here come the home side. Referee's given a good advantage to Welling. Papadopoulos on for the number 23, Enoch Mwunge. Back to Papadopoulos, edge of the box. Is there a shot for him? Gets onto his right boot. He does curl one goalwards and it's over the far corner. Out for a goal kick. No foul on Ming. Referee. Actually, free kick's gone the other way. Would have gone the other way. 
puts the ball, trying to come out of his area to get here. Balarabe's got there first, goes around him, and he's put it wide of the far post with the goal gaping. Difficult one on the angle. Constable committed himself. What well, some bad back pass. Scott can lay it off. Clifton will stroke it home and Dulwich are level. Adrian Clifton getting the leveller for Dulwich Hamlet there. It was really poor defensively by uh, Welling United and Scott unselfishly just squared the ball for Clifton. Danny Mills has won it back down the right hand side here. And Dulwich has got bodies in the box here. Jeffrey's there, Wenadio's there as well. Mills goes on. Andrews holds him up. That was drilling across the box though, Mills as well. Cleared at the far post by Lobuso. The uh, centre midfield four. Oh, has got it back. Rounds the keeper and pokes it home. Another sloppy mistake. This time by Lugboso. And he's only been on the pitch a minute or so. He just looked to carve out a chance. Lost possession to Lugboso, then tried to pass it back to the keeper. Gave it straight to the four, who rounded the number 13 goalkeeper and put it home in Dulwich and uh, turned the game on its head in this second half. 2 1 we lead. Lofted ball coming up then. That's used to have gone short. Papadopoulos, edge of the box. Can he shift it for a shot? He can, and it's wide of the far post. Not a million miles away that from Anthony Papadopoulos. Mills flicks that down to Winadio. This is where he loves to be, taking on defenders. Onto his right boot and shoots. Keeper grabs hold of Might well have been nestling in that far corner. On for trialist E, the left back, number 14 for Welling. Infield it comes to uh, Andrews. It's given away and Monadio has it back. Dulwich have got five up in this attack. Monadio, can he slip it on to the four on the edge of the box? He can. Monadio again shoots wider than the post. Good move that from Dulwich Hamlet. Free kick coming in for Welling. Very deep looking cross, which is headed clear by uh, Chem Tom Kaya, the left centre back. Wenadio, long ball forward looking for Jeffrey. It's a bad touch on the defender and Jeffrey may still in here. That's surely a foul by Lugbuso. Yes, it is a penalty this time. Sloppy work from Io Lugbuso again. Happy steps Luke Wenadio. Sends the keeper the wrong way. It's a third for Dulwich. And uh, Luke Wenadio has his second goal of this pre-season schedule. Went to the goalkeeper's right. The keeper dived to his left. And it's the third goal in this second half for Dulwich Hamlet. Confidently dispatched by uh, Dover's last season's top scorer. It's been a pretty easy second half from Dulwich Hamlet. Didn't think they were poor in the first half by any stretch of the imagination either. Welling took their chances. Probably were slightly the better side. But, uh, the change that Welling have made have disrupted their uh, flow somewhat. You'd think the first half sided quite a lot of their first team, perhaps more so than the second. Console was going to come herring out of his penalty area to uh, block off David Kamara's run. First win of pre-season beckons end for Dulwich. Welling's weight goes on. Their third successive loss. Doesn't matter though, I'm sure they'll trade. If they, they lose all their pre-season games, they'll trade it for three points in the opening day of the season at Truro, just like any club would on that opening day. By Lugbuso, he's had a bit of a torrid second half, hasn't he? He's given that away. Here's the 12th, the three again, striding to the byline. Can he put it back to Danny Mills? Intercepted by, uh, I think it was... Taylor Curran, Radio, score of that third, deflected cross comes Curran's way, clips it forwards, badly given away, Krasnicki opens up for him, Krasnicki, what a save, tipped over the crossbar, that ball was fizzed goalwards by Krasnicki and it's a really top draw save. Taylor Robert heads up on, Krasnicki's a very, very tidy game that's coming on, Wanadio, good touch, brings it wide to Jeffrey. those two linking up well there, Jeffrey, good cross towards Danny Mills, that was an important block by uh, Lugbuso. Number three controls tackled momentarily by Kane Adam, but Dulwich have doubled up on that far side with Winadio. Low cross, blocked by Andrews. As far as the uh, tries number 12, Jeffrey now 
he shoots. Good save, palmed away by the number 13. Jeffrey trying to curl into the far corner and get a fourth for Dulwich. Oh, Mr. Matthews has joined us for the last throws of this one. That's the full-time whistle. Dulwich have uh, won this one by three goals to one. All three goals coming in the second half. Adrian Clifton scoring into an empty net. And uh, further goals from the trials number four and the penalty from Luke Winadio after we were 1-0 down at half-time courtesy of Lewis White's goal. Welling United 1, Dulwich Hamlet 3.